Hey, what's up guys? Mikas here for the Electronic Music Jam Sessions, episode 62. Thanks a lot again for supporting the concept, buying the template on our site, wemakedanceplace.com for only five bucks. We have over 50 of those up, like this all really creative original idea that I make mostly from scratch or maybe sometime from a little chord progression or MIDI. And you can use them to inspire yourself. I use mainly Logic uh, Pro plugins or maybe silent sometime, that's about it. So thanks guy, and we're gonna keep on going today, making the music that I love the most. I mean, I pretty much do always the music I love the most, which is Deep Prog. I want to prove to you guys tonight that you really, really don't need all of this native instrument, blah, 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 blah stuff to make great music. This is a really common mistake with all the new young producers that they just want to have that big sound right away. But you have to think that this is not original. It's not really what is creative. What is creative is repetition, is practice, repetition, practice. You know, if you, if you play an instrument, by example, like guitar or something, you know you have to practice a lot to get it. It's easy to use some sound banks, some stuff to make the sound, uh, but then you're not really creative. You're just making somebody else stuff. Just saying. So, of course, I'm gonna use only Logic Pro plugin to prove you my point. What I've done is I loaded uh, some MIDI, like I said, from uh, one of our producers on uh, Waving Dance Music. I used literally the defo patch on uh, Alchemy. I did this, did some selector selectors down here, so I selected Bright Harp, started playing with it, liked it. I'm gonna switch to headphones now, and then this is what it is. So I, I started tweaking it a little bit. With the unison here, you can get something a bit wider, which I like. You can play with the filter and globe to have something, you know. And this is this is just basic. This is like the basic patch. Good start. I like it a lot. I mean, this is a cool arp. I'm thinking probably automate it a bit later on. For now. What I'm gonna do is, I, th I think what would be appropriate for this, for this groove is, uh, is a little bass pad to go underneath, like something, something chunky, something like, you know, just, just to keep the deep, deep prog groove in there. And for that, I'm gonna go into another copy of Alchemy. I'm not gonna edit this one because I do this mistake often. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the default again. Uh, arp, arp, plucks, epic sense, swell, pad. Nah. If I go really low, maybe. Not, not low enough, so. I'm gonna go to bass. Um, acoustic, classic, electric, layered, loop, short, sub, sweep, wobble. Hmm. This is a classic bass, maybe. Let's go. Oh, that sounds good, it's a bit low. Not quite. basic simple melody which is great it's what we really want I think uh, we'll definitely go right away with the pad because we have the nice art we have some movement add some depth with the basic pad motion pad from the default patch maybe who knows you can play with it of course Globe, no, not so much. Because we have a lot of units on onto the main arp. I'm not gonna use too much onto this 
bad because if I go wide, mm hmm, gotta complain about that, really. with the harp so far very basic patches of course we're gonna work it out so this is cool and all I think I want to make something of a more percussive bass because you know this is we're still we're still making dance music guys I mean it's a bit mellow So, bass line, not too long, about here, turn, turn, and turn, and the sound, obviously that is fit to this, it's gonna be a bass, it's gonna be, mm, maybe I'm gonna try with a uh, Moog-ish kind of synth and maybe modify it, but I'll give it a try, maybe not, I'm thinking more about an FM you know, pluck or something. I don't dislike it, that's for sure. A little bit more here. This is a very... It's a pattern that is well known. Every so there's almost a beat in between, but not quite, so it rolls well. Mm, I used that before, that's nice. Mm, this is a really nice punch and depth to this one. I'm listening to those two. I can already tell those two together on top of each other. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do what I just said. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna do that. So you have the bass and then you have that brassy kind of KV kind of thing. Sound design won't hurt. Oh, yeah. I'm oh, making me think uh, looking at this here, that would be good if we extend it. A little bit push, and maybe we'll try to extend to the max. Maybe mm, I like that already. Effect with a bit of a break. to create like we have a nice basic groove now it's a bit loud this one so I could go I'm gonna go use the alchemy automation I'm gonna go straight to the EQ take care of the top here it was, it 
was conflicting a little bit with uh, this brass sound, so... The pad is sitting quite well here. Oh, what happened there? I don't know, so... I'm gonna have to check if I'm still recording <laughs> the... everything, yeah, that's good. I had some problems before, so recording and the sound stops, so not so good. It's weird because I'm at only Ooh, the arp like that in the back. Weird that I'm using all this view. What is happening again? Buy yourself a freaking 4,000 euro computer to, to do music and it doesn't even pull up with a basic project. Apple. I think I would do. Oh, you have an idea. This little last note of each. I would like to put even more emphasis on them because they kind of kind of make for a nice transition to the next key so I think I would I would bring them up. And then take a brass movie. To have a basic groove, I'm gonna go and drop some percussions on there. Normal, you know, really nothing extravagant here. Kick, snare, hats to start. Uh, maybe a double snare to beat it up a little bit. Oh, I forgot to. Take a silver verb. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna put on this last little hit that I had. Then we really hear it because it's more in the mid low, so it's good. For now, we hear it just without. Yeah, it is definitely there. Yeah, let's some blocks here, this could be good. Here, 
going to make some mega fast shakers. Pick all of them, quantize them. Oop. Good. Then I'll probably process them a little bit with uh, some modulation. Very present. So they're spinning around the back, which is what we want. Now to make a lead. It's always uh, it's always fun when I get there because I don't take myself too seriously. Those guys might know. And yeah, I'm like, okay, time to make a lead and. The best leads are the simplest, so unless your name is Scott Storch. Okay, bro, but uh, not Scott Storch, obviously. So, you know, I think I'll start with maybe some. What was it? It's going into organs these days, you know? Like, it's uh, a bit different. And it's not so synth leady, so, you know. So it's a bit tough. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, a bit too creepy. Celestial, what? That may be. No.
something like that would do. It took a while, as you guys see, it's not always obvious. for the last one, <laughs> I think you guys got two, um, I can try that, you never know. Oh, I kind of like this, this last little part here, let's see. Tempted to do something like this. It's more interesting, this one. No, I don't like this part, so. Let's combine these. Oh, remove the musical typing, join these. to have a good effect there, so I don't know. Hmm. I have doubts, but I think we, we should play a little. Good with what we what we started, so which I don't know where it is anymore. <laughs> Organs. Oh, I like that too. room left for it in the in the mix because it's a bit full up there so Complement this this sequence here. I would go with a bit of an answer to this pad, but 
a much simpler answer, like something like this, I would say. Let's leave a few keys. Just as, I think I will go with a straight up, like kind of. A bit high, so I want to now. Then I'm gonna go into soundscape. for some soundscapes. Aquatic, aquatic, no, no, no aquatic in my, in my track today. Oh, a little swoosh. Now, now with the element lates and stuff and what I can hear is that the mix, at least for my personal taste or years, is, is, is not good. I like to say word like terrible but I will refrain <clears throat> so you guys here don't get rotten, you know, with those words. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna turn off all the synth to start with and I'm gonna do like an instant remix because it, it's just very crowded, it's, it's just not, it's just not right, it's too much stuff, I'm trying to put stuff in, it's just... Just pile up. So, oh, there's still some sand on. Why not? So, we have the beat, which is okay. I think I'll start with the basses. I think this, no, not this one, this one. Lows on this baby. I think we need a bit of sub. Yes. Not too loud, just enough. Then the brass layer, which is actually taking a lot of room, so I'm gonna have a look at it. Just to clean it. Don't really need I just want the effect and the kind of the room that goes with it. Not so much the bass. Would probably I will engineer it as we speak, so I'm gonna create a bus with those. So bus 11 here, and I want to compress those together. We're probably gonna compress it with sidechain later, but for now, just put a little compressor on it, four to one ratio, with four or five dB of compression. 
So I want them to be one. Mm, maybe a bit of distortion, I guess. Then. Yeah, that a bit loud now. the bass? Oh no, that's the... Jesus. Okay, well, bass is here, it's... This is feel like crazy loud, so I have to do something about it. Then we have our ARP. I'm gonna name it. ARP. Here. And I think I cut a lot of it, so it was just there. On the bit low, so I'm gonna open it a little bit. Very nice. Okay, I can open it, open it a bit more. Let's hear it. Just that. Snares with loud too. Take it easy with the snares, punching through too loud. Just that for me, quite danceable. I don't really put so much more to make a track. However, now we're preparing what will be the track, so we're gonna keep on mixing in case. This is this bass that, let's see. So what I'm gonna do before anything is I'm gonna create uh, like a send bus, a ghost send bus. Uh, this is bus 12 here. And remove the main out. I'm gonna put this up. So I'm sending a ghost signal to this channel, which I will recoup here in my ARP to sidechain it. So I'm gonna do a compressor, stereo, take this here, bus, kick deep tech, boom, sidechain. No need for some fancy plugins. I know some people make some cool plugins that have a lot more function, but pretty much everything is in here. Why am I doing that to, to, to tame it a little bit? So, so when the kick hits, it still have its space, you know, within the track. So with, without, it's, it's kind of there, but it's not, it just doesn't hit in the track as, as much. What I will do, like I said earlier is so over my comp here, just to comp the bass hit, which is fine. And I'm actually gonna add a second compressor to do the sidechain. So I want the, side, the, the bass to be compressed and then to sidechain it, not to just have it sidechain compressed. So I'm gonna pick up again my bus. Keep tech here, four to one ratio. Much cleaner mix already. I don't like how those shakers are too present. I'm gonna really have to. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut most of the frack and I'll leave just the highs, just there. Not too loud. Okay. Now we were about to do this dark and light bass, which I want to put in. Because it's got like a nice, nice tone to it at the start. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a look at it, and I want to keep the lows tame. The mid lows I take because there's a there's a nice wave. You know, I don't know if you guys hear it. Well, let's hear it in solo. So that I want in the mix. It's nice with. Out. Definitely a lot less punch. I mean, wow. What I will do is I will also side chain this one. Uh, Throw the compressor. Again, same source. Deep tech kick. So this is all going to be in the template, of course, on our site with me, that's music, along 5,000 other dot templates. So be prepared, guys. If you go on the site, there's a lot of stuff. Coming up nicely. Let's hear the when it kicks in. Oh yeah. 
So this is really subtle. It's not a big, big element in your face in the track, but it is there and it's it's very useful. So we have our pads, we're everything, and then this 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 pad here that we added. That I think worked being in the track. We're gonna have to mix it. About to start. Let's see if there's some low end in there, which I don't want. I have a tendency to sidechain everything. You know, when I start, it's kind of a drug. You know, it's like compression. I read an article about that, that when you start putting compression, you have to put compression everywhere. It's the same thing with sidechain compression, really. It's like when you put some, you want some everywhere. But too much is a problem. It's like a drug, you know. So, so now I'm sidechaining the pad. With, without. With, so in the back, not so interesting. Uh, sorry, sorry guys, w without, like this, and then with. Much more character. So I'm just gonna give myself a bit of room replicating that. I don't know how much time are we at, we're at 37 minutes, so. I would just do a bit more with you guys and then of course you can get the template on luminousmusic.com and um, yeah I like that very much this is a really really good start for the track some episodes turn out really really well like this one as an example it's like for me it's I'm excited about finishing this track and putting it online for you guys so This one I had problems putting it forward to put it into the track now. Just mixing it a little bit. I have all the room in the world. I'm gonna do another side chain though, because you know, like I said, I'm getting hooked a little bit on side chain. So bus, this one. It's like too sawy. I just want the feel. Can you guys hear the feel? Comparison without. I, I I don't want this. I just want the feel. It's still there, but it's just not as present. And Okay, so we have a little bit of a lead that we're gonna mix in now. Easy to mix. Seem to be a sine wave that is very, very tight, so. I could have done it a bit better. I like it, but you know there's definitely some work to do on there. But it's a good enough melody to be included in the track at some point. And the last little element here. Oh, that's another sign right there. So this is playing with frequency, you know, you just want to get some somehow the feel of the frequency, not so much the whole spectrum of sound. So you're just working with, with the mid lows and try to create something that would be a little bit deeper than just what you can hear. So this was episode 62 of the Electronic Music Jam Sessions, guys. I hope you guys enjoy and, and, and if you're still watching, guys, you just earn yourself half price on our site, we make that music.com. Have a look, we have 400, over 400 producers from all around the world and if you produce music, upload some project, upload some sample pack, it's a marketplace, it's open to everybody, but, 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 but I was talking about the, the deal. So enter my name, Mikas, M-I-K-A-S, and get half price off your first purchase. And if you have a second, enter my name too on Spotify, Mikas, on Apple Music, Mikas, I am not that 
weird guy that sings with his pitch voice. I'm the other one underneath, not Mika, but Mikas. And that's it. And of course, as always, guys, may the songs be with you.